You know those games where you make up a transfer rumour? Odi Nogalo to Manchester United sounds like something that comes out of that. But instead, it's a transfer that happened on deadline day for United this year. Igalo has joined. And some United fans are confused about signing him. Others are glad we've got a striker. Fans of other clubs are ridiculing for United signing Igalo. But I want to explain in this video how I genuinely think Igalo can actually make a difference to United this season. I'll explain exactly how. Make sure you sub down below if you are new. But welcome to United. Odeon, let's talk about you. My reaction to the actual signing itself, I genuinely think it could be a good signing for United. At the time, on deadline day, United left ourselves with no option really but to chase a striker, any striker. Josh King, I think signing Igalo on loan makes more sense than signing Josh King on a permanent deal. But Igalo was not a name that any of us would have mentioned. But at the time, on deadline day, we gave ourselves no option. Now that's down to poor recruitment strategy, which I will talk about later. But given that Igalo has experience in the Premier League and has scored goals in the Premier League, it's a striker that we needed to sign, no matter who it was. Spurs and Chelsea were desperately trying to sign a striker on deadline day. They were left empty-handed, but instead United have got Igalo, and he could make a difference this season. Look, if he goes on to score five or ten goals, it will go down as a great signing. And I get the feeling he's going to be a bit of a fan's favourite because he wants to play for United. Take a look at this interview from 2017. Okay. Yeah. So when you were growing up, what was your dream team? Man United. Okay. I still support Man United till <laughs> there. Till there. Yeah. Okay. And now that you're where you are, what's the one team you would love, love, love to play for? Man United. Man United. Igalo there saying that his dream move would have been to United and he's got it. So Igalo is just going to be living out his dream for the next three to four months and he will want, desperately, desperately want to be a success. So he will give everything to try and make this three month period, which we all know is going to be a short term deal for the 30 year old. But he'll want to try and turn it into a permanent move. And with that sort of desire, he will, I think, be a good signing for United. Hopefully, like Henrik Larsson, when we got him in January, didn't score that many goals, but he went down as a fan favourite. And I hope Igalo could do the same. But in terms of what he actually will bring to the club, it's really quite simple. When you look at the goals that he has scored in the Premier League, take a look at this. Here's a screenshot or a picture of every single goal in the Premier League that Igalo scored for Watford. Take a look at this and see if you can spot a pattern. What did you notice when you saw all of those? Every single goal that Igalo has ever scored in the Premier League has been from within the penalty box. And that is something that Martial and Rashford do not do. He's been doing the exact same out in China. He has scored some goals from outside the box, but the majority of the goals he's scored in China have all been inside the box. He's an absolute predator in that sense. He's not going to be like a Van Nistelrooy predator, but... Igalo's home is inside the box and Martial and Rashford, for as good as they are as attackers, are not natural strikers. Their natural movements don't take them inside the box because pace is a big part of their game. They tend to go wide, try and run around a defender and get one on one and go in that way. But Igalo, he lives in the box and having that as an option is going to make a big difference. With someone like Bruno Fernandes coming in, sending in through balls and decent crosses, Dan James this season, so many times he's sent in crosses into the box, but Martial and Rashford haven't been there because they're deeper or they're wider. They're just not in the number nine position. That is something that Igalo will bring immediately. And that could make a real difference, a different physically type of striker to Rashford and Martial. And in terms of his natural instincts and movement, he will stay there up front. And that will make a massive difference to the, the shape of United's attack, where too often... We've hit on the counter-attack, but no one's in the box. Igalo isn't going to be a counter-attacking type player, hasn't got the pace for that. But he offers something different, and that's why I think it is a good signing this January. In terms of a short-term striker, 
Igalo makes perfect sense for United. If Bournemouth accepted our bid for Josh King, would we have got him? Probably. We were looking at Slimani. We failed with Haaland, who moved to Dortmund, but United needed a striker. And the fact that we were chasing strikers on transfer deadline day goes to show the real problem, which still exists with United's recruitment, because we shouldn't have been left on the last day desperate for a new striker. We should have put the money in. If we're, going to, if we're willing to spend 30 million on Josh King, put a little bit more money aside, do it earlier in the window and bring a proper striker in. It, we didn't, and we were left in a situation where it was probably Igalo or nothing. And Igalo is definitely the right answer in that scenario. And I think he can go on to be better than, I think, most fans who are ridiculing United are expecting him to score one, maybe two goals and do nothing else. And you know what? That might happen. But it's a risk-free signing for United. Because we ballsed up by not signing one earlier in the window, we needed one and we got Igalo. And if he goes on to score a few goals and makes a little bit of a difference, it will be a good signing. It's a short-term stopgap solution ahead of the summer where we need to spend big on a big striker, someone like Timo Werner, someone established and top level. Bruno Fernandes is top level. Igalo isn't, but it hopefully can help fix a problem which exists in this team between now and the end of the season. Now, I would be more angry had we not signed Igalo and we just stuck with our options. Instead, we've got Igalo. Let's see what he can do. Let's get behind him, support him. He wants to play for United. That makes a big difference. And he is a striker, more of a poacher than a wide forward or an attacker. He will live inside that box. He'll probably break his nose to score a goal. That's what Solskjaer wanted, and that's what we've got. So yeah, this is some propaganda. And I do want to see Igalo be successful. Of course I do. He's now a United player, so I'm going to support him. But let me know what you think about Igalo. Can he make a difference? Do you think I'm right here in saying that he can be that poacher, that different type of striker? Or do you just not expect him to be able to come from China and adapt to the Premier League again? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But welcome to United, Odin. I think could be a fan favourite. Let's see you score some goals.